I thought I'd kick off a new series where you get to hear me ramble on about some of the most interesting subjects out there, many of which I cover on my channel. This new series is designed to stimulate the senses and to walk the dogs of our curiosities. In this first segment, we'll be kicking around the subject of whether or not cryptids actually exist or just the product of our imaginations conjured up by the need to feed our storytelling, BS selling mumbo jumbo. So first of all, I spent a whole lot of time outdoors and I've yet to see anything that would send me down that cryptid road. Now I've seen some other strange things, but that's a story for another time. We can't ignore the sheer amount of eyewitnesses that are reporting these strange and odd sightings. And there's a whole lot of them. When I was growing up, I had really only heard about the big two, Bigfoot and Loch Ness Monster. But since then, that list has grown to dozens of other cryptids that folks are reporting all over the nation, and all over the world as well. Every country seems to have its own lineup of them, and every year I feel like a new one gets introduced to that ever-growing cryptid tree. I assume that most of you watching my channel know what a cryptid is by now, but if not, a cryptid is classified as an animal or creature whose existence is unsubstantiated. In other words, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of physical evidence of their existence. Well, in my opinion, footprints, photo, and even video evidence can easily be manipulated or staged. On top of that, whatever folks may be experiencing may be real to them, but perhaps in reality there's a more logical explanation for what they're seeing. I think the sightings reported by multiple parties at the same time are the most convincing to me. How do you explain a group of folks all describing the same thing? So how many kinds of different cryptids are out there? Well, there's too many to name off the top of my head, but the more well-known types are aquatic monsters, hominids, winged creatures, and so on. So here are several of them that I found online, some of which you might be familiar with. Bessie, Bunyip, Chessie, Nessie, Kraken, Loch Ness, Selma, Dogman, Bigfoot, or Sasquatch, Skinwalker, Chupacabra, The Jersey Devil, Lizard Man, Yeti, Yowie, Wendigo, Mothman, and Thunderbirds, just to name a few. Each one of these creatures has their own fan base. But then there are those you just don't really hear about, like the Gloucester Sea Serpent and Lake Champlain's Champ, described as a dragon-like creature. These sightings are few and far between, but the ones I'm really interested are the ones where people keep reporting on a regular basis, like Sasquatch, Dogman, and Bigfoot. Folks have dedicated their careers to studying these cryptids and the sightings are never-ending. So that tells me there must be something to it. Personally, I don't believe there are apes running around all over the woods of North America, or we probably would have found evidence of this by now. However, if they exist, they're probably more like us than we realize. A human-like species closely related to our own. The general consensus of the eyewitness reports state that they're larger than the average human being, and it is a fact that skeletal remains have been found that seem to back this up. We might call them giants, or simply large men. Native American tribes have also depicted their version as well, with many believing they are of ancient or extraterrestrial origin. The legend of Sasquatch can be heard all over the U.S. and are even an important component to many of their belief systems. The subject of Bigfoot used to bore the hell out of me, 
But now I pay attention. Especially to the ones where mass sightings are involved. Sure, there are those who make up their experiences for a number of reasons. But then there are those who really do believe what they saw is what they saw. For example, a longtime buddy of mine saw what he described as an overgrown dog standing upright like a man trying to open his back gate one night. The creature got spooked and ran off at superhuman speeds into the woods nearby. I'm sure many of you listening have your own stories to contribute. Now when it comes to sightings and reports of sightings, we as human beings like to classify things into our own neat little categories. If it's hairy and stands up straight, we throw him into the category of a big dog, bear, or large ape. It's our way of making sense of the world around us, going by what we already know. But when we experience things that are unusual to us, we still like to force them into that neat little category, even though they tend to fit as snug as a square peg in a round hole. But you gotta remember that scientists are discovering new species all the time. So who's to say that many of these cryptids just might be real, or possess some kind of skill or quality that makes them nearly impossible to detect, capture, or study? Are they being studied in secret by private scientific research groups? Well, there's a lot going on behind the scenes of what we do and don't know. Some might say it's a matter of security to keep those subjects under a tight grip, as the world might fall into chaos if we really knew what we were dealing with. But I get the feeling it's much simpler than that. I believe these cryptids are just like us, flesh and blood, who seem to have these special skills and qualities that may exceed that of our own. Think about it. There are animals and other creatures who can turn invisible and blend in with their surroundings. Others possess bioluminescent qualities and can even generate electricity. My personal favorite is the wood frog, a species of frog that live in the Arctic and have the extraordinary ability to freeze to death and thaw back to life. You know, the kinds of things that might be considered magic, witchcraft, or just plain paranormal to anyone who doesn't understand the science behind their abilities. Point being, there are scientific discoveries happening all the time, and the more we look into these cryptids, the better we'll understand their relation to the world around them, and how that pertains to us. Now let's switch gears and talk about the more well-known sightings that have been documented over the years. Now I'm going to read you a few reports from eyewitness accounts from folks who have claimed to see these strange beings. This first one comes to us from the Berkshire Mountains of western Massachusetts, which in itself has reported sightings all the way back to 1765. It was nearing 10 p.m. on Sunday, August 21st of 1983, in the small town of Washington, Massachusetts. Four friends were enjoying a steak and chicken dinner cookout near Camp Eagle, an abandoned Boy Scout camp on the banks of Felton Lake. It was a calm night, and the camp they had been staying at had been abandoned since 1970, and they were the only ones there. But then their peace was disturbed by strange rustlings in the distance. Whatever it was sounded rather large to them. But they assumed it was a deer and went back to their nighttime activities. A couple hours go by and they can no longer ignore the rustlings, which at this point seemed to grow louder and closer. Something big was out there, and the young friends wanted to know what it was. 18 year old Eric Durant and 22 year old Frederick Parody set out to investigate. Just a hundred yards later, they saw it. Quote, it stood on two legs, silhouetted on the trail in the moonlight, and it was huge. I don't scare easily, as I've spent my whole life in the outdoors. In just a few short seconds, it disappeared into the woods around it, and that was the last we saw of it. 
Here's a report about a strange wolf-like creature. In late 2015, a hunter in northern Saskatchewan, Canada, captured an encounter with an animal so huge it left zoologists baffled. The short clip captured on phone shows a white dog named Trigger barking at something in the grass. You can see a black head peek over the ridge and appears to resemble a big dog or wolf. Suddenly the creature lunges at the white dog which retreats with a yelp. The black, wolf-like creature appears to be more than twice the size of the dog. There were some other odd qualities about this creature as well, and people have since dubbed it the Dire Wolf. While the Dire Wolf isn't exactly a cryptid, because they actually did exist at one time and have been documented more than 9,000 years ago. Here's a report about a strange serpent-like creature that people are calling the Ogopogo sighting. Since 1872, there have been reports of a giant serpent-like creature swimming in the waters of Lake Okanagan in British Columbia, Canada. Hundreds of locals and even tourists have claimed to have seen a monster in the lake. One of the most famous sightings of Ogopogo occurred in 1976 when Vancouver local Ed Fletcher took this photo. Fletcher was with a group of friends enjoying the scenery when he spotted a giant serpent-like creature undulating through the water. He took a snap with this camera, and the photo would become legendary, one of the most significant pieces of evidence that a cryptid could be swimming in the lake. Since 1887, there have been stories of a werewolf-type creature stalking the woods of Michigan. The beast has become known as the Dogman. Over the years, there have been numerous sightings of an enormous dog-like creature that is capable of walking upright on its hind legs. In 2004, a family was leaving a friend's place when they believed they encountered the Dogman. In this scenario, they were reversing down the driveway in their minivan when a gigantic creature appeared out of the darkness. The youngest son, sitting in the back seat of the van, took out his camera and captured this astonishing photograph. The famous cryptid shows a dog-like beast. It has a strong muscular torso, thick neck, and fierce illuminated eyes. It appears to have qualities similar to that of a lion, dog, and bear. Numerous experts have analyzed the image and are at a loss to explain it. Some have noted there appears to be faint brush strokes or touch-ups around the right arm of the beast. However, others have defended the image, saying that the blurriness is caused by the motion of the animal leaping from the shadows. If you guys want to hear more of these types of Dogman-like sightings, I highly recommend you check out Dogman Encounters Radio, hosted by Vic Cundiff. He gives a good rundown of all kinds of different eyewitness encounters, and there's quite a few of them, so I highly recommend you check them out. Arguably, the most famous and influential Bigfoot sighting, which happened to be caught on camera, happened in 1967 in Northern California, when both Bob Gimlin and Roger Pattison recorded a large gorilla-looking beast walking awkwardly across the river bar. Then there's the Sherman Pass footage out of Washington State, where a 31-second clip surfaced showing a bulky humanoid figure striding across the snow on I-90, recorded by a highway camera in January of 2020. Let's take a look at some other reports from cryptids other than Sasquatch or Bigfoot. In 2018, a photo of the quote-unquote Utah Skinwalker sighting began to circulate around the internet. The poster claims that the photo was taken by their friend's ex-husband. They said that the ex-husband and his father were trespassing on rural property to check out the scene of a supposed drug-related shootout that had taken place some weeks earlier. It's alleged that they were both approached by a man with a shotgun who warned them with a shaky voice that they shouldn't be alone on this part of the property. 
he fired off a warning shot into the air and told them to clear off. The ex-husband and the father ran as fast as they could down a dusty driveway, and they used the flash on their camera to light their way. As they ran, several photos were accidentally taken, and these images would remain unchecked for some time. Several weeks later, when they regaled friends and family of the bizarre encounter, they decided to check if the camera had taken any pictures as they ran. One of the photos picked up something odd. In the middle of the road you can see a humanoid figure. It's brown and bulky with a very thick torso. It looks to be somewhat hunched, as if it were lumbering across the road. In Native American culture, skinwalkers are believed to be witches or shamans that practice dark magic. It's said that they possess the ability to disguise themselves as animals. These witches are thought to be evil, indulging in sinister ceremonies to control malevolent powers. While it's known that pop culture has twisted the idea of the skinwalker into an over-the-top horror cliché, indigenous tribes, specifically the Navajo people, have remained tight-lipped about this mysterious entity. Now, here's an interesting report about a mysterious Mothman creature, one of my personal favorites. In the 1960s, people around Point Pleasant, West Virginia, began reporting sightings of a creature that would later be dubbed as Mothman. It would reportedly emerge, fly as fast as 100 miles per hour, and often leave witnesses with a deep sense of dread. It was later suggested by some locals that the Mothman was trying to warn humans of an impending nearby tragedy, the 1967 Silver Bridge Collapse. However, others believe that the supposed supernatural connection was simply a way for people to make sense of the tragedy, as one would think there are more direct ways to warn people of danger than just being spooky. More recently, New reports have emerged, starting in 2011 and peaking in 2017. Sightings of a Mothman-like creature begin surfacing all over Chicagoland. It still remains unknown whether Chicago Mothman is the subspecies of the West Virginia Mothman or the same species. Or whatever it is, perhaps, just a heron that got caught in a garbage bag. And if we go on to talk about the Loch Ness Monster, aka Nessie, a large marine creature believed by some people to inhabit Lake Loch Ness in Scotland. There are many reports of this creature going back nearly a hundred years, but despite these reports, much of the alleged evidence supporting its existence has been discredited, and it is widely thought that the monster is actually just folklore. There are countless other reports like these ones. But I chose these ones to share with you because they were either reported by multiple persons and there was an actual video or photo to accompany these reports. Whether or not they're authentic or not remains up to the interpretation of the reader or the viewer, but some of them are pretty compelling. So what does it say about their existence? In my opinion, it's all circumstantial. And there's a whole lot of gray area when it comes to the subject of cryptids. But even with the skeptical filter, I do believe that there is something to a lot of these reports. Too many folks have reported similar unexplained sightings, and that just can't be ignored. Have you got an experience or a cryptid sighting you'd like to share with us? Comment below, as I know this would generate an interesting discussion on the topic. Well, I think I've rambled on enough for now, but if there's a subject you'd like me to cover or bring to the table, do let me know. Thank you for listening, and you'll hear from me soon.